What's up everybody? Welcome back to Hackdroid Crypto and today we're going to be talking about something very, very unique. The first decentralized cross-border funding platform called DropDeck. DropDeck basically allows startups and small businesses to fundraise using their technology, their DDDD token, and essentially you can go on, you can get your project approved, and you can get funded as a company which is a big deal, especially the fact that it's on blockchain, so borders don't matter. Uh, you can be anywhere, you can be in South Africa or you can be in the United States, but ultimately you can get funded on this platform, which is a big deal. I've done reviews in the past about kind of Kickstarter like blockchain platforms, but this one's a little different. So I'm gonna dive right into the quick overview of their website and let's just do it. Right when you land on the homepage, you can see right on the top here all of their different social links. I went to each one of these and they have a pretty substantial following already, which is exciting. Bitcoin Talk is kind of the mother load. That's where everybody's going to be chatting about the tech pieces here. And they also use Drift. And a quick comment on Drift. I admire the fact that they have it. And one thing a lot of people don't realize is that live message is increases conversions by an order of magnitude like you when you're talking to people in real time you are able to to increase your conversions drastically compared to just doing it on the back end so love that let's see if we can type here hello and that kind of pops up so let's just exit out of that for the time being when you come down here you'll see really great website. They have their white paper in a bunch of different languages here, which is exciting, meaning that they're global. And I wanted to show you guys this. IBM is a big backer of this company and IBM Watson and AI is, is really powering a lot, of, a lot of blockchain type companies right now. And I like the fact that they've identified DropDeck as a potential like big business early on and that's going to do wonders for this this presale and this ICO. And here's a quick concept. The concept is it doesn't matter about the borders that you have around you, that being a country that you live in. Basically, what DropTech is trying to do is they're trying to allow people to fundraise for their companies. They're trying to fund their small business enterprises and their startups and they're trying to do it all across the blockchain ecosystem. And they can contribute in royalty financing or they can lend in debt financing tokens. So as someone coming from a finance background, the debt financing is not available to a lot of people. So allowing people to do it on the blockchain is a big deal. And there are graphs here. I don't want to dive too deeply into them. But basically, it's just giving you the flow of how the smart contracts and the fundraising works. So I encourage you guys to go check it out. Their screening is pretty pretty great. Um, I like the idea that you know they're not letting just anybody on here. They're not letting uh, somebody that's starting Instagram for cats on here. Like they're actually working towards innovative ideas and funding innovative things globally. So as we keep going down, you'll see the, this part right here. You have your diagram at a high level, which is what I'm looking for. You have your drop deck in the center, your funders and your companies. And then you have your evaluators, which are basically the backbone of making sure that there's quality businesses coming on here and quality startups. You have your hunters, the people that are you know looking around for for loopholes, they're looking around for different things, they're uh, looking for companies to fund, and the people that are governing, essentially protecting their quality control along with the uh, evaluators here. And on the bottom, on the funders side, you have uh, your backers, uh, your insurers, and your delegates. So this is more on the financial side where they're, they're uh, not necessarily doing quality control, but they're they're funding the projects and they're making sure that things are in order, which 
I love the I love this diagram, and I saw this last night when I was looking through their website, and knew that this is as simple as it's going to get uh, for for you guys to understand how this kind of works. But as you keep going down there, the triple D holders that's their token icon, and the decentralized drop deck token serves major utilities. Uh, utility is what constitutes the value of a token in, in layman's terms. Like if you guys ever come across any tokens that just kind of have a, um, just a blanket statement about like, okay, this is the dedicated, dedicated token for, you know, people in San Francisco, California, you know, that's, that's more of like a gimmick, but when you have an actual utility, like a purpose that's used exclusively for the the token, that's when there's value. That's when there's inherent value. So they have your contribute or lend to potential companies. You can pay for verification, so people can use the tokens to pay for verification. They have premium features on site that they allow you to pay and exchange tokens for, and you can get rewarded as an evaluator, hunter, delegate, and more. So essentially when you're doing your quality control and you're making sure things are in order on the site you can also make money or in tokens uh, which is tokenizing all of the aspects of crowdfunding which i love and a lot of contrib uh, a lot of contributing factors to uh, the good things here and uh, crypto credit i love that i've done a few videos in the past on crypto credit and the importance of it uh, but one thing I wanted to focus on as we go down towards the bottom, there's great distribution of funds, is the development roadmap. And what I want to show you guys here was the open business lending markets and incentivized roles. So the opening business lending markets is, is basically them saying that they're going to be expanding in the, the places that you can finance or the places that you can lend money to, which gets me excited because the idea of me funding a business in South Africa right now is completely unobtainable, basically. Like I, I, I have no way to, to do that, really. But what Dropdeck's trying to do is open that door and expand um, the different business lending markets. So the different countries that I can lend in, the different places that I can distribute my my Bitcoin or my, my tokens via drop deck, but overall very powerful statement here. This is just a, a small detail um, on the roadmap and it's actually a big deal for me personally. Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of great incentivized pieces here around the tokens because it's a tokenized community within drop deck and quality team. I talked to Alan, really great guy. A lot of these, a lot of these advisors are rock stars coming from companies like Lampix and Gatecoin, like really, really well-known companies um, in the community, in the crypto community, which is what this is going to take. And also wide, wide adoption outside of the crypto community. That does it for my quick overview of Dropdeck. As I said in the quick overview of their website, if you guys like this video, slap a like. I'm going to put all the links for Dropdeck in the description below. Also, if you guys enter in Hackdroid Tech into the token generation event or their token sale that's happening right now, if you guys enter that in, you'll get 5% extra tokens, which shout out to Drop Deck for contacting me, letting me know about their product, getting me excited about it. And overall, I'm excited to say that they've, they've sponsored this video, so they're super stoked to let you guys get 5% extra tokens, which if you guys are investors and you're interested in getting in early to something that's big and an international kind of phenomenon to push innovation out of all the countries combined, 5% uh, extra is a big deal. So I'm going to put that below. It's actually like a hashed kind of um, numeric way of showing Hackdroid Tech in numbers, which I thought was pretty unique. But I'm going to put that in the description below. So 5% extra just for watching this video and just for clicking through the link and supporting them. So that does it for this video. Slap a like if you guys like this, you want to see more sponsored videos. 
and I'll talk to you guys on the next review.